Petting the dog is one of the most relaxing things you can possibly do. It releases a hormone called oxytocin, which reduces stress. Also, it lowers your heart rate and it lowers your blood pressure. Plus, people who pet their dogs are five times more likely to live longer than people who just have cats. Martin. Good afternoon, I'm over here with your 7374 Basement 50. All original electrolytic caps. These old Mallory's are ready to go. As well as the, um, the white Mallory's that are being used in your uh, cathode bypass capacity, uh, as well as the uh, filter cap for the bias supply. This thing is, is more than overdue and these guys are stressed out. And then check this out. I didn't notice this at the time, but I don't know if you can see this. You see that white substance here inside of the envelope. This thing is, this thing is done. So you need a new pair of tubes, my friend. Sorry for the bad news on that. All right, so here's one of your 6L6s. No shorts, um, as you know. Let's check out for emission. This will give us a gauge on the strength, how much of that emitting that electron emitting materials left on the cathode itself. And it's just, it's not good. We're looking at this upper band here. So let's go over to grid leakage. That's not good. That's gonna tell us basically how much of that electron emitting coating that was on the cathode has been uh, redeposited on some of the other elements within the tube and those things start conducting themselves that's not good so let's uh let's check your other one out all right here we go with your other 6l6 this guy's old this looks like one of the groove tubes from the 90s so we're um, no shorts there let's check out a mission on the upper band and this one just, it just looks like it's damn near dead, doesn't it? And then we'll check for grid leakage. So this one's not so much an issue with respect to grid leakage. It, it shows good, but it's an incredibly weak tube just from the, uh, the emission end. So yeah, and I'll show you a trick on the, uh, the second tube. This is something you don't do or you shouldn't do. You can kind of rejuvenate one of the tubes by... Um, briefly increasing the amount of filament voltage. So watch this. This is a now a known bad tube, okay? This is the only time you would do that. So watch. If I take the filament voltage, increase it by quite a bit. You'll see a bit of flashover. There we go. Now I bring it back down to 6 volts. Now watch this. When I go to emissions... No, it would it would indicate that it's good, right? But it's 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 a false positive. It doesn't stay that way. Watch your grid leakage. That's bad. See the lower band. Back over. That's only going to last for a few minutes. But yeah, she's bad. She's roasted. Here's the other tube again. I just wanted to show you something. On the grid leakage end. It's almost marginal, but I have this little feature called life test. And what it's going to do is it's going to starve the filament supply just a touch. And with a healthy tube, uh, then there shouldn't be any deflection in the needle. It should, it should maintain its position, but I'm going to go ahead and slowly, I can't, I can't capture this at the same time, but I'll go ahead and, and depress it. And as you can see, it's just sinking. I'll release it. And it'll slowly get itself back up there. So it's just a, a sort of a forecast. And it's not a Nostradamus machine, but it's sort of a forecast that tells you how much life is left. And it's pretty accurate. Um, this tube should remain conducting with the slightly starved filament voltages. And it's just not doing that. This thing's super weak. And uh, um, emissions end. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. But again, on a grid leak end... Leakage in, rather, I'm sorry, late, late over here, I guess. On the grid leakage end, then you're looking at 
some of that electron emitting coating um, has migrated from the cathode itself to the other, other elements inside of the tube, the screen grid, the control grid, the whole thing, and they themselves are now conducting. So the tube is just not running like it should. It's not healthy. Thank <music> you.